Bar finally has a better move set. And you can now choose from 12 voice options. Oh, that's cool. We're hoping to get this fighter ready for online play. Okay, tell me immediately if you can hear me. Immediately. Previously, Pit's final smash has three sacred treasures. This time, he'll be riding in style on the lightning chariot. Oh, cool. In the last game, Zero Suit Samus' final smash called in her gunship. This time, All right. she uses her power suit to fire a devastating laser. Hey, okay, you can hear me, good. Okay. That if happens Oliver again, just damaged, immediately tell me. His helmet. Ooh! But don't worry, it'll get fixed up right away. Jeez! Bayonetta's costumes from her first two games are both available. Awesome. Listen awesome. closely. Is there still a jump? The differences in the sound effects. Yeah, I can hear that. It seems we have a guest. Rodan appears as an assist trophy. Nice! Wasn't he before, though? Warrior's final smash, Warrior Man, has changed quite a bit. After transforming, he no longer uses individual attacks to get the job done. Donkey Kong's final smash is all rapid fire punches in the Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. That sounds good. You'll notice that he and other fighters have expressive new facial animations. <laughs> What's with the Little Max face smash anyway? Is now a rush of blows from Giga Man. In fact, all final smash moves in the game get right to the punch. Ness's new final smash. I do no care about you, babe. <laughs> of course. Jeff still shows up as an assist trophy. Okay. Likewise, Lucas's final smash features Kumatora and Bone. That sounds cool. <laughs> At first glance, we fit trainer seems the same, but her face has a new look. I wavered a bit on whether to change it, but mm. it was a request from the Wii Fit developers. Really? Okay. We've included all the hazards from both versions of Mega Man Stage from Super Smash Brothers for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. And for his final smash, oh, Mario, cool! Man and Bates. It's more anime. Palutena's special attacks have been streamlined this time around, and her down special is now both a counter and a deflector. Nice. Rob has a new gauge on his chassis, showing how much fuel he has left for hovering. Oh. Yeah, he could just kind of hover indefinitely before. Notice the he? Epsilon symbols next to Lucina and Dark Pit's numbers? Yeah, I wonder. Each of these fighters are based on another fighter in the game. Oh. Um. Treating these fighters a little differently, and have decided to call them Echo Fighters. Okay. Allow Rather me to than clones. A brand new Ditto. Echo Fighter. Is she a... Oh, is she new? Daisy joins the roster as Peach's Echo Fighter. She fights in a similar manner as Peach, but they have different characteristics, which we hope you'll like. Awesome! Have fun playing as your favorite princesses. All in all, Yay! Whatever changes we're making, there could be tens of thousands. Could be. I hope you're looking forward to some serious magic. I am. And here's a new fighter. We knew about Inkling. You just introduced Daisy. Inkling is a completely new addition to the roster. If you ink opponents, they'll take more damage from attacks. Different weapons are available as smash attacks or special attacks. The splatter shot, splat bomb. Yes. Flat roller and the final smash, killer whale. That's a nice pun. You can actually run out of ink, so it's important to refill by pressing the B button while shielding. Oh. Inkling Boy also debuts alongside Inkling Girl. Inklings are very fashionable. All eight have their own outfits, and each has their own ink color, so matches get really bright. That sounds like By fun. the way. We added in the Squid Sisters as an assist trophy. Nice! During their live concert, the camera zooms in for a close-up. That means it's easier to get knocked off the screen. Ooh. Okay. 
yeah, yeah. While we're on the topic of assist trophies, let me share some additional information. As you may know, assist trophies lend Oh, Lynn, so she's not going to be a player with this time. You can KO assist trophies by... That means Waluigi won't either! For it too. Oh. However, some assist trophies will remain unbeatable. Yeah. Well, who would want to beat up the Nintendo? Will photobomb your battle. Yep, it's him. Well, I mean, he's not playable, but... There's a wide variety. More than 50 of them appear in the game. I Means Midna's not playable either. Of course. Okay, I don't know what Sukapon is, but that was cool. And items. We can't wait to show you. <laughs> cool. Dang. Fake Smash Ball. Ah, it's green. Oh, that is devious. There are a variety of stages available in this game as well, including a massive list of returning stages. If you get a group together to play, it'll be a challenge to hit them all. The graphics have been improved as well. Let's get a look at some stages. I can go back to the spear pillar. We have Giratina instead of Cresselia. Maybe not instead of, but in addition to. I'm making new damage. I don't know, it's kind of bugged me as a stage, though. I like New Fork City. I never got a chance to play Wrecking Crew because it was only on the Wii U. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. I'm getting high CPU usage warning. Holy cheese! Was not expecting that to be a stage. Ah, it's the old man. Hi, old man. All stages now have both Battlefield and Omega forms too. These versions hover above an abyss. Their sizes and terrain are all the same. Whack, 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 so savor whack. the simplicity with music and backgrounds from your favorite series. Okay. Yes. Let's take a sneak peek at the new and returning techniques. Are they now really dodge. counting Daisy as a new character then? The directional air dodge enhances mobility. I'm just worried that this thing is going to cut out before they get a new character in. Ball. You know, or like right when they're. It's gonna However, do the, too much, and then it's the gonna ground, cut out. You'll be wide open to attack, and your duration of intangibility gets shorter. Intangibility. You can execute short hop attacks by pressing the A button and jump at any time. That sounds like it'll be good for me. Also, you can smash attack by pressing the A and B buttons, just like the previous game. It's gonna say, isn't it? Just a perfect shield occurs when you release the shield. Ever Martio stage. Okay, Netbug. How about you tell us how you really feel? Any major risk, but going forward, you'll need to time it carefully. For one-on-one -on -one battles, the damage dealt will now be greater than in battles with higher numbers of players. That makes a lot of sense. This should help ensure that the action is well paced. In a timed battle, the fighter in the lead will sometimes flash with life. Better do something, or no victory pose for you. <laughs> and more. We've got something special for your playing What's pleasure. That, that little Smash broken Brothers back. Ultimate. It's like a little tiny ladder. It's for Kirby when Kirby comes to visit, right? Okay, the old controller. Nintendo GameCube controllers can be used in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. For many of you, it Ultimate. just isn't the same without them. Not to mention, 
all Super Smash Brothers series amiibo Have they said the name before? Like, was well. it on the logo and I just didn't In pick fact, up on it? All fighters' current amiibo figures will be supported, even if they're from a different series. Tap a compatible oh. amiibo figure to add in a figure player, or FP, and level up. Your FP data from previous titles can be transferred. We hope you're as excited as we are. Our staff will continue working hard until the game releases. We really appreciate your support. We made including every single fighter ever our number one goal, so I'm kind of hoping you aren't character. too many new challengers. However, we do have one more announcement. Please, take a look. Give us a new character. <laughs> okay, dark. Samus, Mario, and Mega Man. Simon! Is it? <laughs> Give me a date. Give us a date. <laughs> it's magnificent, but much. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Nintendo oh. Treehouse Live from the Los Angeles Convention Center and E3. Minasan oh. ohayozaimas. Los Angeles no E3 kaijo no Nintendo Treehouse Live no haishin e yokoso. I'd like to say thank you to everyone around the world for You're tuning welcome. to our Nintendo Direct. Thank well you! Thank you! Okay, so I got absolutely none of what I wanted on the side there, but I'm still happy. Well, I mean, I guess the Koopalings are in this one, right? We have a very special guest for you this morning. We just saw a new character announced. Nate, why don't you tell us who we have and what we're going to see? Okay, that was great. I'm going to go to sleep. Good, good night slash morning, Netbug. Thank you for hosting. You're, thank you for coming. Yeah, I know that was a, a probably a lot of Smash Digest uh, for those of you viewing at home. Um, huh. Okay, so I'm going to count that as I got one us, thing. We are very fortunate to have and yes, Mr. there is Spear Pillar, with but that does not count Ninja. towards Platinum. で、あの、ケザは桜井さんがスマホのコマの話をいろいろしましたけれども、ケザはあの、ま、運が良くて本人が登壇していただいて、え、突然のレイモンさんも一緒に来てます。あの、ま、運が良くて。あの、ours too。いや、ours。ま、ガラクティックだったと。あの、ours 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 too。いや、
but before we start this, what I'm surprised we didn't get the Undertale release date. I remember with uh, the last game, everyone was just shocked about Mega Man, but you know what? I thought it was kind of a given. Like, honestly, it's just like... But then when I heard about Pac-Man and Wii Fit Trader, I was like, nah, that's a joke. And then I saw the previews and I was like, yeah, they actually look good. Agreed on those first two games. Yeah, you know, with the Xenoblade one, it's like, okay, this is a this is DLC and expansion, etc. Um, but, you know, make us care about these things if we haven't played the game before. Really delineated a lot of the it specific moves so for returning full fighters of um, in the video, but everything we was just only got a taste in of moves. Ridley at the very end. Um, so what I was hoping we could do is maybe play through a little bit with Ridley live on stage here, so we oh. can talk a little bit more about his moves and see what he looks like in action. Ridley, Ridley, Ridley. I have never played a Metroid game. I'm just going to put that out there. I just know everyone likes this, and I am happy for everyone. Like the way they open those met. That first one went on forever and I had even commented about how long that was. It was just like, this is really boring. You know? It was just like, it just went on and on and on. There was no story, there was no characters. And you know, it's okay for a game to not have story and characters and all that. But there was like nothing there. It was so repetitive and it just kept showing the same things over and over and over and over. different from the version that's in the full game, correct? So this that's correct. And that was a bit of a change right there that we picked the stage before the characters. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me get into Ridley now. I hope they do a Metroid Prime Trilogy release. Yeah, that'd be really nice. Instead of starting off with four. Uh, as you may or may not know, uh, Ridley is from the Metroid series and is the arch nemesis of Samus. Hopefully before Metroid Prime 4 comes out, yeah. You know what would be neat is if they released a set of all four games. I mean, it would be like, what, $120? I can't believe I'm seeing this. If you had told me 10 minutes ago I'd be looking at Ridley, I would have kissed you full on the lips. <laughs> Especially overseas. It's a good thing they're listening to foreign fans. I know that was the reason they didn't put Takamaru in. Uh, from uh, Mysterious Nursami Castle. Um, it's because they thought he was only known to Japanese. And in uh, Brawl, he uh, made an appearance as a boss, and he would do moves like uh, grabbing Samus and just uh, uh, dragging her across the wall. Or and grabbing anyone. And oh, yeah. yeah. Other fuckers along the floor. Getting more drop frames. Then oh, getting more drop frames. This whole time. I win! <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, you know, for a set of four video games that, you know, 120 USD wouldn't be all that bad. Not all that bad. Or at least put them in the eShop. You know, they'll be cheaper, and you'll have to put them on SD cards. But... Cool. Oh, you can charge it. And charging it up, you can uh, throw multiple fireballs. And just like the original game, his uh, weak point is actually when he's charging up the fireball in his mouth. Oh, wow. That's a lot of damage in one hit. 26.7. about 26% of damage right now, but you take big damage. So, are they considering Daisy a new character? Because they gave Lucina her own intro 
video. Um, I mean, she shared it with Robin, but she got her own, like, you see how it wakes your blade? I don't know why it was a question. But, um, and then Dark Pit did just showed up at the end of Palutena's. So he didn't get one. But, again, Lysina did. Daisy didn't get one. But it put Lysina and Dark Pit as, uh, what do they call that? Echo fighters? It put them together in the same category. So Daisy is an Echo fighter, but is she a new character or not? I mean, this means she's going to get her, new, her own um, menu screen icon, right? But if you don't ingest attack normally, it's very minimal damage. If they have an option for it, I want to make the dress purple, like, in the live action movie. I mean, yes, I know that Daisy was completely different. You know, I'm just going to let you in on something. An alternate costume I want to see for Mario and Luigi is from the live action movie. I think that would be fantastic. Uh, so this is really, really hot. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, played a little Fire Emblem uh, Shadow Dragon. Demetrius. Nate. Yeah, this is the battle we want to see! Yeah. Second, the live action so recast like is in hilarious. Yes! You know, that movie would have been a lot better if it hadn't been a Mario movie. I mean, it's... but then it, nobody would have seen it if it hadn't been a Mario movie. It would have been like pure mystery science theater stage. But, uh... <laughs> as it was, this is kind of delightfully cheese, I guess. Oh, there's Takamaru. He's not playable here either. <laughs> why isn't Waluigi playable yet? Like, why? You know, honestly. Do It'd be sport. fun if you uh, could have a playable ca Oh no, they brought back the that little ship there. When we had to gather three parts and it's basically if you hit it's like an empty knockout. Okay, Samus has two pieces. But it'd be fun if there was there would be characters that would be playable and as there we go. As, oh, and as assists. That's just, that should be illegal. <laughs> so, It'd be, uh, like, you probably have to put some sort of restriction as far as, like, um, <laughs> as far as, like, um, wouldn't, is still in uh, like, on the, so, uh, the they wouldn't show up on the same stage as the character like itself is playing. Feature. We get like every fire emblem character. Oh, yeah. Oh. And as I mentioned oh. in the uh, video earlier, there is this one on one damage uh, where you take on more damage, and that's been. Uh, you know, again, I think would have been the perfect preview for him. It's like it's showing some Mario character. And then all of a sudden, too bad! What a Ouija time! And then, um, yeah, and then you get the other characters. You know what I noticed? We have regular Toad, but that could still mean Captain Toad should show up. Basically what happens is it attracts all the fighters into the center of that black Problem is Captain Toad literally cannot jump. But if they made him like a little lighter, he could jump a little bit. Okay. Final smashes that definitely kill someone. 
And you can see Samus's ship uh, crashing in the background. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, we can? <laughs> no. <laughs> Enjoy that. Yeah. Enjoy that. There's a lot of review for that. Dark Ride! And it looks like oh, the Galaga ship is back. Okay. Is it about Pokemon? Oh, yeah. Dark Ride. Right. I think it's Cats and Toad would be a great challenge. It'd be like Little Mac, only more so. I mean, maybe he can have like a little propeller come out of his backpack. Boss Galaga. Let's just stick this up in here real quick. Oh, come over here. Come over here. Ah. Let's see if anyone else is texting me. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Let's see what and we actually added a new spec to the warp star. So holding up, you can actually delay when the warp star falls. Sorry. And you can adjust when, uh, either make it quickly or uh, slower. I'm burning now. Okay, someone wants to make an appointment with me. Okay. Well, no, that couldn't have been. That couldn't have been who called. Yeah, that, give me the know, number. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to text about everything that's going on. Oh, yes, thank you. Yep, my birthday's tomorrow. I get a death battle episode tomorrow. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. But, uh, it's too bad it's too careful. I don't really care about, but you know, hey, why not? Would you, would you like to play one? Yeah, alright, let's do it. Let's do a four player match. What do you guys say? Sounds good. Right. It's stuck on title if you want one, and then. I think over on this one. Ah. Hmm. So, what is it? Yeah. It's 2 p.m. mark. Alright, so we're on uh, side. Hi, Dozo. 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 Hi, Stick with Mario since we just saw Nate get beat up as Mario. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Nate. He did say you like Mario. So we are on Great Plateau Tower here uh, from Breath of the Wild. That's an odd place to pick us a stage, though. I mean, I guess looking at it. Nice. Uh, so Link, when he has no damage, he can actually uh, shoot a play beam out. Oh, <laughs> hello, Nintendo. And I don't know if you noticed, but uh, Nintendogs, the type of dog has changed. <laughs> I thought there were a few different dogs. Yes, I also hope I have a good birthday. Okay, all right. Bye, birdie spot. But every time it's been a different type of dog. So it used to be a French bulldog in the French generation, but this time it's a toy poodle. Oh, that's. I had a poodle growing up when I was very little. Oh, not me, not me. That's you. Come on. I guess I am. Oh, oh curry. Uh, are you guys <laughs> picking on me? Stop. <laughs> Come on, I know when I'm just dying. Maybe. Oh, no. That was not good. Later, yay! Thanks for coming. I love seeing that tower collapse and then there's two black Takamaru and, and who was the other big so one um, we saw? Oh, oh, and the sis. Oops. Uh, 
でも若い。ゲームも取ったし。あっちゃう。something I don't know people are noticing before.、Oh, oh, come on, Bill. I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> Yes, finally. Okay, we shall win while we move back to our campus. I mean, playable is going to be none unless it is something novel. Okay, so. A. Shed animation post too big is just another way of saying too good. Some strikes not gonna help things.
本当にねあのディテールがすごい、えー、とリトリーのアミーボソフトと同発なんですけれどもそして、えー、とスマブラシリーズの、えー、と新しいインクリングのアミーボもあります。And we also have a new inkling amiibo for the Smash Brothers series. Sounds good, sounds good. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've seen like a 3D realization of Ridley. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, obviously, I've seen it during production and development. But... And can I share something a little, maybe a little nerdy? Yeah, please. <laughs> I am just someone posted a video of the Daisy movie. So, uh, oh, and I said, she's already a not with the Echo. And, uh, now that we have a, a, a smash and info phrase, and, and, and I wanted to kind of point out one difference Echo between those two. And instead, this. the little uh, triangle ticker different. on the ink tank behind the ink, ink link, the yeah, location of that triangle ticker is different. different. Oh, what a joy we have seen today. Well, I mean, we have. And that mar、uh, denotes how much ink you use up when you use the splat bomb.、Mm -hmm. But the amount of ink you use in Splatoon and Smash is different. It's, in Smash, it's a special move. So you can、uh, use a lot more splat bombs. So the spec is a little different. Details, man. Details. Yeah, details. <laughs>、uh, and although we, we don't have a figure to show today, we did also introduce、uh, Daisy as an Echo Fighter in the game. And we can confirm that there will also be a Daisy Amiibo in the Smash Brothers series for this year as well. And I'm going to show you the video in the video. Daisy is a Peach Hime no Dash Fighter, which is a show that I'm going to show you. Daisy is actually the best I've ever seen. My hair dash is synchronized gibberish. My old dash is a Twitch chat right now. <laughs> one more battle? Yeah, one more battle. Quick rematch. Let's do it. I think we're over there. Thank you. Thank you. Nope, that one's a little bit shorter. Thank you. Well, we did talk about inkling, so shall we go to the inkling、uh, stage? So, that's it. Let's do it. Why not? Convenient. Maybe someone can be the inkling. How do you spell convenient? I don't know. I don't know. Right, I'll do it. Okay, so. Cool. Maybe I'll go. Oh, <laughs> Uh, so, in the past,、uh, we've made it so、um, all the Zelda related characters are all from the same series, but this time we've、uh, spread it out, so I picked out、uh, what I really liked. So, this stage has a lot of hills, so it's actually、uh, kind of difficult to use items properly. Yeah, it was a nice looking stage. Could you speed up my translation, Raymond? Yeah, it's like sailing and stuff like that. I'm really hoping at the end of this, there's going to be another preview. Another character. So there's a, an actual Smash Ball and then there's a fake Smash Ball in there, and you can、uh, discern which one is fake by the,、uh, the markation on the ball. That is a real one. Yes. Yes. Here we go. Come on. That's nice positioning. That's not going to be good. 
Oh, like to remind everyone not to commit any acts of violence to the lack of an Animal Crossing announcement. <laughs> Friends up again. Come on. And as I mentioned, uh, when characters are painted, uh, 